Chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you the World Chess Championship Game 12, Ding Liren vs Ian Nepo. Ding Liren have to win the game, because he is down a point than Ian's point, and this is your today's puzzle, 120 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so, let's go, we have the crazy game started with d4, knight f6 and as usual Ding didn't play it, c4 to having control over the center squares. He loved to play knight variation instead of playing standard opening but Ian take opportunity to play d5 having control over the square, e3 d5, that's why I like Ian Nepo, he always impress me with his opening, knight d2 takes takes here, c3, making a pawn chain in queenside, bishop d7, that's an accuracy move, best was to play knight here, now Ding gets a chance to play knight here to target the bishop, but Ding doesn't take the opportunity, he played bishop here to get the diagonal. In the future he will use the diagonal with queen and bishop battery, knight here castle bishop here rook here, this rook move creates a plan for the knight to go there and re-rotate himself as well, to having control over the center if the position gets closed or play knight g3 to getting active to the king side if the position gets open, e3 knight f1 bishop here bishop g5 castle, white can play knight g3 but he takes the knight on f6. After takes you may say that these double pawns creates king side weakness, but no, he can use it as his strategy, rook here to get the file where bishop is keeping eye on there, queen is also ready on this diagonal, these are long term strategy, double up your rooks and so on, knight g3 f5, he is threatening to play f4 so h3 takes, queen takes, ding's plan is to play knight here to give check on there then play f4, after takes takes, the g file will be totally weak, so, Ian Nepo jump over his sit and played knight here go there and so on, knight here g4, ha ha ha, rook to g8 king to h1, here we have knight g6 and bishop c2 which is a mistake move best was to play rook here because this bishop move gives opportunity to black to touch the queen, so queen e3, rook to g6, now he want to double up his rooks and f4 is a serious problem rook g1, f4, queen on d3 queen here rook e1 queen g5. Here if you play 200 elo move for example a3 then Ian Hippo will triple up his rooks and queen, a4 f3 f5, black will throw everything to break white's structure and his ego, if takes then takes takes, there is checkmate in two moves with the rooks battery, you will lose the game early on, so back to the position, we have c4, after takes ding played queen c3 he didn't take the pawn, if you dare to take the pawn which will be a blunder, the knight will come to the f3 square to fork your pizzas, so. In this position we have queen c3 to protect the square from the knight, b5 a4, Ian could play a6 but he played before and after queen takes c4, the reign of blunder moves are started, we have rook to g8, first blunder move, best was to slide the rook on h6. Because now Ding can take the rook with the bishop, but Ding played queen c6, blunder move instead of taking the rook, Ian Hippo farts and played second blunder move bishop b8, now Ding can take the rook on g6, best move for black was to play knight here, I will come to the point later, Ding played queen b8, another blunder move, question mark, question mark, how they become grandmaster, even a 200 elo bot would take the rook, best was to play knight f5, sacrificing the knight, let me show you the variation. You know what, pawn cannot take it because there is checkmate in few moves, the rook's battery will bring storm to the king, the king will be in a checkmate, also you cannot take the knight with your bishop, because after pawn takes your pawn structure will easily break by black, so if you take the candy for your queen, then queen h4, this is coming to deliver checkmate, so knight takes to protect this pawn, after bishop takes queen c3 to protect the h pawn. So bishop here and you cannot take it because there is checkmate in one move, queen here then bishop takes rook, takes takes here, takes again you can't take it because of this and this, rook here then queen takes pawn, that's it, you lose enough pieces and your king isn't healthy to fight, back to the position, that's why knight f5 is best but hippo played rook h6, another blunder move instead of putting the knight on there, ok bishop e4, rook here by Ian, which is of course a mistake move. Black could consider f3 let me show you the variation if it happened then if you take the pawn on f7, then knight will come to the g2 square, best is to play queen takes pawn and the game will be a draw, 
you will lose a rook but you will get some chances to make this game draw, if you below 50 IQ person, thinking, ah, my rook is under attack so let me save it by moving the rook then knight f4 will come, you may say what is the difference, let me collect the pawn, queen h4 to to play your the drum, knight takes, bishop takes bishop to g2 queen takes rook f1 then he will sacrifice, his rook, after bishop takes it will be checkmate on h2 with the bishop, so, back to the position, we have rook f8 queen takes b4 queen to d8, queen c3 threatening to play d5, discover check so knight on g6 bishop g2, queen h4 to target this rook e2, Ian played f5, blunder move, they are just winning the world championship by chance. Ian nonsense forgets that if a pawn moves forward then the pawn gain new controlling square but also loses backward controlling squares, the pawn can't move back, it was protecting the e6 pawn and the future controlling squares, so Ding gets the opportunity to play rook takes e6, Ding wins a key pawn of black and it is plus 8 position for white however Ding can play blunder move on his next turn and make this game in Ian's favor, I don't believe to them, Ding is a rat and Ian is a cockroach and chess friends. If you want to become smart in chess, like Magnus then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, d6 and queen check is coming, so Ian takes the knight on h5, but it's a blunder move, best was to play f3, thus Ding wins the rook with his tactic called blunder tactic, check here d6, and that's it, Ian understands that Ding will not play blunder move anymore so he resigned the game, they are just coming to the WCC to show us their performance, their performance is so wonderful, making blunder in such moves where a 200 LO rated player could see it, let me complete the game. The king is exposed so f3, targeting to the bishop, you cannot take it because queen takes pawn will be a checkmate, you are not ding or ian, you are a stockfish subscriber so always play best moves, bishop here to protect it queen here d7 and rook e8 is coming to promote into a new queen, so queen g7, you cannot rush, because you will lose the pawn so bishop c4 creating a multiple attacking line to the king and queen, and there is mate in 11 moves. I dare you cannot see it because you are inferior human like ding and ian, knight can't take the rook because there is mate with the rook and bishop so king here, white promotes a pawn black says, why I have a queen, I am happy sappy, feel happen I am going to checkmate you, ding and ian game creates headache for me, I am going to take a bath, wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.